y'all so this is quite an upsetting story and it's kind of i mean it's random I don't really understand the motivation behind it, but let's just get into it. it says Andrea Vasquez, latest murder suspect is Gabriel Esparza. Okay, so let's get into this story and I'm gonna try to give as many details as I have found out. So it says the suspect in Andrea Vasquez's kidnapping and murder is reportedly scared after being hit with multiple felonies. Y'all, Gabriel Sean Asparza, 20 years old, has been charged with murder, kidnapping, and attempted rape in connection with the death of a 19-year-old Andrea Vasquez. Mr. Asparza entered a non-guilty plea when he made his first court appearance for the brutal slain. So, you did what you did, but then you say you're not guilty. But then you say you're scared because you did what you did. But you're not guilty of doing it now i get you know some people would say it because they're going to enter a plea agreement or whatever but still you're still not owning up to what you did but you're scared okay let's continue vasquez was randomly kidnapped while on a date with her boyfriend at penn park in whittier uh while vasquez and her boyfriend were sitting in a parked car an armed man approached them and began shooting vasquez's boyfriend fled the scene and when he returned he discovered blood near it and vasquez was gone now i'm not even gonna you know this is in no way to demean what the boyfriend did but you always have these people who say they're providing and protecting and this would have been your moment to protect but you fled but i'm not even trying to get into all that i'm just mentioning that okay but let's continue vasquez's body was found the following day in moreno valley mr esparza's attorney ambrosio rodriguez said the 20 year old was scared hmm don't you think he was scared don't you think she too was scared but your feelings are the only ones that matter even though you tried to kill somebody else and then you murdered someone else let's continue shortly after andrea was attacked and kidnapped her sister edlin uh managed to track her location using apple's find my iphone feature and began following it however she lost it a few minutes later she said i tracked it to going down the 60 i started following and a location stopped in moreno valley and that's the last known location that i have of her she's told uh, abc7 so now i have a different part now this is coming straight from la county um their dot gov site um and this is just a little bit more of what's going on so they got gabrielle sean esparza um born 03 of Whittier is charged in case BA517367 with one count of murder, one count of willful, deliberate, and premeditated attempted murder, one count of kidnapping to commit rape, one count of kidnapping, one count of assault with intent to commit rape, and two counts of attempted forcible rape. Additionally, special circumstances of murder during the course of a kidnapping and murder during the course of an attempted rape are alleged okay all alleged it is further alleged as to all seven counts that in the commission and attempted commission of the offenses esparza personally used a rifle esparza pleaded not guilty at an arraignment his preliminary hearing setting is scheduled for october 25th he also faces a maximum penalty of life without the possibility of parole so whatever his plea deal may be I don't think you're gonna get it okay but they did have a GoFundMe and they end up raising 41,145 unfortunately it's closed now um, I'm not sure how GoFundMe's work um, it seemed like it was closed by maybe whoever organized it which would be like her mother and whatnot but yeah here's some images of her and the dude who did what he did now they're saying that this was a random attack like this was a random kidnapping all that i just find that to be odd you know you see her which makes me wonder do you just carry a rifle around with you was your rifle in your vehicle and maybe that's how you did what you did you had your rifle in your vehicle you got out you were stalking them and you seen her seen something you wanted 
and then you just start letting out multiple blows boyfriend runs she i'm assuming is not able to depend on what side you came on and then because i'm sure somebody got shot they didn't mention it but i'm sure somebody got shot or it would be very odd unless he was just randomly shooting in the air and then you grab her you kidnap her you attempt to rape her i don't know how they allegedly i don't know how they would know that i don't know how they would know that you know because i don't know how they would know that i don't know um but you attempt to rape her and then you go and murder her but this was all random i don't know it just came off kind of weird to me like how is this random you just found some random person you're like okay i'm gonna get her and it did not scare you at all you weren't scared at the moment it didn't scare you at all that she had somebody with her and especially that being of a male with her that didn't scare you that didn't bother you at all so i wonder if he and she was 19 and he's 20 i wonder if maybe maybe he's been watching her for a while and maybe somehow knew that she was going to be in this particular place and maybe knew that her boyfriend wasn't going to necessarily stand up and this is in no way you know trying to disrespect him or say anything i'm just you know trying to spitball trying to think logically of how this could have even happened you know how why would you pick this certain time when they just happen to be parked in a car unless maybe you knew that this was a pattern that they had maybe they went out on dates you know once a week or something and then or whatever and they just stayed in their car it's just very odd that this was random and you did this heinous crime it was one thing if it was a random robbery and you stole her purse and her credit cards or something but you didn't i mean you took her life you kidnapped her i don't know i just found that to be very odd when they were talking about this and i'm like i mean i guess but it just seems like it seems like there's something missing you know just seems kind of odd that you just up and kidnapped her and it was like yeah you know she just got kidnapped and it's like what um but they they managed to raise some money for her which is great you know i mean <sighs> such a horrible 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 way you know it's just and they said it happened in uh, uh los angeles you know you know california and everything that goes on over there hopefully they do give them life and don't just give them a slap and be like okay i mean you'll get five years or something you know hopefully they actually do you know give him what it is that he deserves um but this is a very upsetting and sad story hey i greatly appreciate if you could support me simply go to ebay.com in the search bar type in latrice limited click on shops and then support me i have a wide variety of items on there many of my own personal latrice limited items such as candles bath bombs soaps essential oil blends lingerie robes so much stuff i even have men's ties and comic books on there definitely support me and do not forget to like and subscribe Thank you.